all you flight servers out there, Commander Kinkfish here, and I am in the process of starting a new uh, series. Uh, it's going to be the Interstate 5 series. I've got, I bought it in the marketplace, so it's part of my uh, flight uh, MSFS uh, flight uh, library. And uh, this is gonna be kind of a summer series. So this particular activity, uh, it's a bush trip is what it is, uh, has uh, three parts to it. Uh, it's going to have, well, here, let me scroll back up and you can kind of read what it has to say here. But it basically has three parts. It has Washington State, Oregon State, and California. Washington State's gonna have three legs, Oregon, state will have four legs and California will uh, state will have uh, eight legs <clears throat> which would make sense it's the largest and it's basically following uh, interstate 5 from uh, the Canadian border in Washington State all the way down to San Diego uh, down by the uh, Mexico border and in real life I've actually over the course of my lifetime I've actually been all that that whole length of that uh, interstate five uh most all of it uh, most of my time spent in washington state in uh driving up and down that so i know that stretch fairly well i've only been down through the california stretch maybe once or twice uh, in my life and that was when i was much much younger so i can't remember what i paid for this i want to say it was right around 10 us dollars uh it might have been on sale and I haven't been able to find anything that uh, uh, identifies where that's at. Today, uh, what I want to do is you can kind of see some of the images here. Uh, today, what I am going to do is the first leg. Uh, it starts in Blaine and ends at Payne Field. So it's about a 30-minute flight, and we're going to be in the 208. So, uh, uh, and it's going to be a bit of a cloudy day. Something the commander is not necessarily used to. And you can kind of see it's, it's got a lot of beautiful scenery all along there. So, uh, once I get over and into the cockpit and ready to fly, oh, there'll be some narration on this as well. So once, uh, uh, just, uh, our perfect flight has put narration in at the uh, points of interest as we are flying down through there. So you'll be able to see that. So once I get over and uh, uh, started, I will uh, catch back up with you at that point. I might add, this is the, actually, let me go back one. Uh, it's over under your custom activities. And where in the hell did it go? Uh, here we are, right here. Uh, the Bush Trip Interstate 5. And then I'll bring it to here. And then we want to start from Blaine going to Southwest Washington Regional. Uh, there's three legs to this. So the first leg is 72 nautical miles. And it should, it will probably take us about a half hour by the time I get uh, flying and everything. So now at this point, I will see you in the cockpit. In this first part, we will fly over Washington State with its major cities such as Seattle, Tacoma, and Olympia, and national parks. The route is very simple. You only have to follow the course of I-5, which is always clearly visible from above. In any case, you can follow the route via the GPS of your new Cessna Grand Caravan painted in perfect flight colors. Enjoy your flight. And there's the uh, 208 Caravan painted in the perfect flight uh, colors. All right, so that was the introductory by Just Flight. Uh, we are here uh, uh, at uh, uh, Blaine, so it's a really short runway. Uh, I'm going to minimize this, and I'm actually going to minimize this. We don't really need the VFR map. Uh, a couple of things I need to get set up here is... Uh, my navigation, I want that set for GPS, and, uh, 
we want to set our altitude at about 2,000 feet. Uh, and then I'll finish uh, selecting that once I get turned around. Uh, it's facing us in the opposite direction that we're going to want to go. Uh, if you look down here at the map, you'll see the airplanes pointing north, and we're going to be heading south. Okay, let me uh, get another flap here. And if we go out and take a look, you'll see that we're full 30 degrees. Because again, this is a very short runway right there. And you can see it down there. So really, really tight. All right, back inside. Uh, the brake is on. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's rev this thing up. Yeah, and it always tells me I do know that. All right, here we go. And lift off. One thing about the 208. Take off from runway 33, then turn left to reverse course and intercept I-5 southbound. Okay, we're going to turn left here. Bellingham is situated on Bellingham Bay, which provides access to the San Juan Islands and is surrounded by the beautiful North Cascades Mountains. Okay. Bellingham is also home to Western Washington University, which attracts a diverse student population and contributes to the city's lively cultural scene. All right. Uh, and so we are getting turned around here. And there's I-5 just below us. Let's kind of straighten this out. And so let's uh, see if I can get this uh, flying. If we click GPS, uh, it should uh, get us uh, lined up here on the uh, navigational route. And we want to set our altitude That on, that on, and that on. And I'm thinking that that should get us up to altitude. I've had a little bit of problems figuring out my altitude. But I was a, I am able to get the GPS going, so give me just a few minutes here and I will get start okay I just needed to set my altitude and let's so let's get up to 2,000 and once I get this all set then I'll hop outside the cabin so you can kind of see and uh, as she she is narrating each of these points of interest and she just narrated Bellingham uh, talking about Western Washington University. Uh, and then the next one will be Lake Samish. So we'll get up to 2,000 feet here. And you can see it's a bit of a cloudy, rainy day, kind of a normal Western Washington type of day. And that's I-5 just below us here. So that's our concrete compass we'll be following all the way down to San Diego over the course of this uh, series. All right, we're getting close. I think 
I just need to click altitude once, uh, I think. It's starting to come down, so it's starting to set the altitude. Okay, I think we're good. So we should be able to just kind of fly and enjoy the trip. So I'm going to hop back out. And you can kind of look around. And see uh, this area up here. So this is up in Whatcom County. This is the northern, northern portion, northern county of Western Washington and Canada was only a few miles north of where we took off and then this is uh, looking out over at the uh, uh, San Juan Islands and that's one of the points of interest that uh, she will be talking about here coming up here pretty, pretty soon. So I'm just going to let you kind of enjoy the flight. I uh, should have thought to uh, hop inside of the uh, cabin while she was speaking. I'll try to remember to do that at the next one. So we'll hop back out. As you can see just up ahead, that is Lake Samish. So we will be able to uh, uh, see it as we fly over. that uh, as we uh, fly along uh, the various legs that we're not going to hit rain all the way down but there's a good chance that uh, we might hear uh, the first uh, couple of flights of hitting some rain as we uh, head down through western Washington. That's Lake Snaps, Lake, Lake Samish, right here. And she pronounced, I'm not sure how she pronounced it, but that was kokanee, trout, and bass, uh, among some of the others. Let's see. Uh, yep, rainbow trout, and that is kokanee. Uh, 
uh, not cocainey, and uh, also bass. Fly down the valley to Mount Vernon in the Skagit County of Washington. The city has a population of around 35,000 and is a major transportation hub for the region. Mount Vernon is known for its scenic beauty, including the neighboring Cascade Mountain Range and its bustling downtown district featuring local shops and eateries. It is also home to the well-known annual Skagit Valley Tulip Festival. Which, I have attended that, the Skagit Valley Tulip Festival. I was much younger, I was in my 20s way back then, uh, and uh, it was a, uh, uh, it's very beautiful. It's kind of like uh, pollen of the uh, west, uh, and uh, they have fields of tulips that they grow there up in the, the Skagit Valley, and just beautiful. Skagit River uh, way back in the day when, when I was uh, living there in western Washington we would travel up to the, the Skagit uh, there was a run of salmon that was every other year I can't remember if it was the odd year or the even years uh, but it was the pink salmon that would come up and run here in uh, uh, western Washington it would be the Skagit River that we would fish for salmon on that river more point of interest actually two more points of interest coming up uh, we're gonna have the North uh, Marysville and we're gonna have uh, actually coming into where we're going to be landing Snohomish County and it is a fine day in Western Washington As you can see down below, it actually really is a lot of farmland up here uh, in western Washington along the Skagit Valley, uh, Mount Vernon area. Uh, kind of a, a, you know, raised a, a lot of uh, vegetables and uh, grains and stuff like that. So, uh, very interesting uh, uh, part. slightly to the left. North Marysville is a census-designated place located in Snohomish County. 
It is a suburban community situated just a few miles north of the city of Marysville. The community is primarily residential with a mix of single-family homes, townhomes, and apartments. There are a few small businesses and restaurants scattered throughout the area, but most residents commute to nearby cities for work. Some of the popular attractions in the area include the Ebby Waterfront Trail Lake Stevens and the Tulalip Resort Casino. I can't speak to any of those attractions. Obviously, the, the Tulip uh, Resort Casino has uh, come in uh, pretty much kind of after I was gone, a lot of the casinos and stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, but it's nice there. As she was saying, though, a lot of folks commute from here down to Seattle for their uh, uh, work, uh, a lot of office work, a lot of, a lot of work down uh, commuters coming out from here and Everett uh, on into Seattle. I will uh, add to that uh, Boeing Everett factory. Uh, I don't know if it still is, but uh, at one point it was the largest building by volume uh, in the world. It literally was so big that it uh, they had to create, uh, or it would literally create its own weather inside the building. So uh, yeah, interesting fact there. All right, so let me uh, start getting prepared here. Uh, really a fine day for uh, flying, as I can see. So uh, let's, uh, uh, let me start. Uh, uh, we'll fly a little, we can fly a little bit more. Uh, I am gonna need to come down in elevation a little bit. And okay, right there, is uh, one of the fields, one of the uh, lights. So I am going to go ahead and start uh, taking over here, slowing down, uh, turning things off. And I'm going to start coming down a little bit. want to land on the runway to the right of that runway that's a shorter very short runway it will be a little bit easier to land on the 
right runway. I think you can start to see it there in the distance. We're uh, coming over here to get lined up. Can't come down in elevation too much because it's actually a little bit higher than what you would think. It's clearing up a little bit. Yep, you can see the runway right there, and you can see the other runway with the lights on it. Uh, we are just, oh, we're about the right elevation coming in, right altitude. So we're just getting lined up here on the runway. always seems to stutter just a little bit here. I think there's just a lot of photogrammetry that uh, is being uh, uploaded as I am coming in. I can do a little better job of getting lined up, but I think there's a pretty good crosswind coming in on this. So if the landing looks a little rough, be thankful if we can just get down on the ground. Go down on the ground. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hang on now. All right. And, uh, yeah, I think we can turn. Yeah, you can see the uh, windsock up there kind of blowing. Let's uh, turn here. Come on, turn, turn. Let's get off the runway. Yeah, we're a little bit onto the field here, but. That's okay. Let's, uh... Actually, I think we can just park it right here and go ahead and just finish. We're not going to go all the way to uh, a parking lot. There we go. Leg completed. Checked. Took us 36 minutes. And uh, that's our uh, bush trip. Let's uh, hit uh, next here. So you can see that uh, we... Uh, 
was in the Grand Caravan. Uh, I never worry about the times there, 33 minutes. And so that's our stats. All right, everyone, uh, all you uh, flight sim pilots out there, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps the video out a lot. And please subscribe. That will really help the channel out. Uh, ring that bell. It'll always let you know when I'm uploading new videos and I'm uploading and scheduling new videos all the time. So uh, with that, all you flight simmers keep uh, flying away and keep those smooth landings coming. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.